In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your audio and more specifically your voice sound a whole lot more cinematic. So without any further ado, let's get into it. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, and just as a disclaimer, I am not the biggest audio engineering expert, but this is hopefully going to help you again, make your vocals sound a lot better in Premiere Pro. So I'm going to show you two methods. The first one is the lazy method. And all you need to do for this is you just download Premiere Pro Beta, which is the newest beta version. But you know, if you're watching this later out in the future, it might already be added into the regular Premiere Pro as well. And then you want to make sure that you have your essential sound panel clicked. And after that, you go ahead, you highlight the audio that you want to make, uh, you know, sound better. And then you come here to your essential sound, you click on auto tag, and now it's going to basically like automatically figure out uh, and analyze what kind of, uh, you know, voice it's dealing with. And then you want to click on enhance speech. Okay. And now it's going to analyze your entire, um, you know, voice clip and make it sound a whole lot better. So if any of you guys are familiar with Adobe podcast and the features of that uh, and that AI, well, it's basically the same thing, but brought into Premiere Pro. So uh, now, as you can see, it's done analyzing it and I can listen to uh, it now. I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better. So this is the after. I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better. And this is the before. So it's already like way, way, way better. Um, so that's great. Another thing you can do now is you can come here to the enhanced speech and you can change the mix amount. So, you know, you can lower it or uh, make it higher. And that's just going to like change how enhanced the audio clip is basically. And you can also go into different settings here, like EQ, dynamics and all that. But if you're super lazy and you just want like a quick solution to make your voice sound better, well, this should help a lot. And you definitely want to play around with this slider because, you know, sometimes it can make you sound very robotic. Sometimes it sounds really good. But if it makes you too robotic at first, you can just lower this slider like this. If it, you know, is perfect, then you can leave it as it is. Or if you need some more enhancements, then you can, you know, drag the slider up. Now, the second method is actually something I learned from a member of my paid community, Grow Creatives. Um, so shout out to you, Gavin, for showing me this. I'm going to link his channel as well in the description. And for this, we are going to apply quite a lot more effects to our audio. So we definitely want to start uh, by adding an equalizer to our um, audio. So I'm going to look up uh, equalizer and more specifically, we want a parametric equalizer. And I'm going to actually apply this twice to my uh, audio, okay? So as you can see, I added it twice. We wanna make sure we have our effect controls also pulled up so we can change the settings. So as you can see, we have our two parametric equalizers right here. The second thing we are going to add is denoise. Um, so just look up uh, this denoise effect and drag it onto your clip as well. Then we're going to add amplify to it. So look up amplify and uh, drag it onto your clip. Then we are going to add a hard limiter as well. So just go ahead and drag and drop the hard limiter. The next one we are going to add is going to be the de -esser. So add this one into your clip as well. And now last but not least, we are going to add a single band compressor. And by the way, because I recorded these voice clips uh, with this microphone, which is a Shure SM7B, which only records mono audio, I'm also going to apply uh, one that's called fill left with right. Uh, or, you know, if you have an audio recording that's only coming from one ear, you would want to use the one that fills up the opposite side with the audio. So for example, my microphone records with the left. So I'm going to uh, use the fill right with left actually. And I will just apply this to both of these actually. All right, now we need to tweak these settings a little bit. So we want to come to the first parametric equalizer and I'm just going to come here to edit and I'm going to choose the preset that says vocal enhancer. Now we can quit this, go into the second one, go to edit. And by the way, you might need to tweak these obviously according to how your you know voice is, uh, the tones of that, but this should give you like a pretty good baseline. Now we're going to drag down the three to minus 70. So that should be somewhere around here. And then we are going to put H at minus uh, 30 and also put it to around the, the 10K mark. Now we're going to go into denoise and I'm going to apply 
light noise reduction might be adjusted again uh, depending on your exact needs after that head on to amplify and i'm going to put amplify at plus six decibel uh, boost okay so that generally will sound good uh, for my specific audio uh, but again you might want to play around with these uh, based on your exact needs then we're going to go to the hard limiter go to edit Max amp we are going to put at minus four. We will leave input boost at zero, look ahead time at seven, and uh, release time at 100 milliseconds. Now we're going to click on de -aster and put it to minus 40. And last but not least, the single band compressor. Click on edit, and I'm going to put the threshold at minus 20, uh, four to one on the ratio. I will leave attack around five to 10 milliseconds. I'm just going to put like seven. Release at 100 and output gain at two decibels. So now it should sound something like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound a whole lot better. So it's just like way more cinematic, way more bass. But again, you might need to do some adjustments. It's not going to be like perfect for everyone, but it should be a pretty good starting point. Now, the next thing you want to do after this is probably save this as a preset so you don't have to apply all of this one by one. So just go ahead and select all the different uh, effects here that you have by pressing Control or Command on your keyboard and then pressing on each effect individually. And now you can right click, click on Save Preset. You can name this with, you know, whatever you want. I'm just going to name this like voice enhancer preset for YouTube. Uh, I'm going to click on OK. And now if I look this up, uh, voice enhancer preset for you YouTube, uh, the second one, uh, as you can see, I already had one. Then you can basically just drag and drop this onto your uh, clips and you don't need to do it all from scratch. So hope this was helpful. Again, don't roast me too much in the comments, please. I'm not an audio engineer. I'm just trying to help you guys out um, to level up your videos. Hope you enjoy this one and I will see you in the next one.